hello guys welcome to my channel today I'm gonna to show you how to use Firefox database and a book store Android application simply I'm gonna show you my book store application first you just register and say Once the registration has been successful, you will be able to see either you want to look after the book or the office supplies. Since this is the university bookstore, uh, when you click the books, you can see the book, the name, and the price, and the category, and the author, author, and the book of here. And if you want to click a certain book, like this one, if you want to click this one, it's going to go over here. And if you press this one, it's going to send it to a cart. If you go to a card, you'll be able to see it in a card. And if you press the delete button, you'll be able to delete it from the card. And if you go back, if you search it, since I don't have anything, you won't be able to get it. Search the name. Since the capital name was written, so I got a job for Android A and D, and you'll be able to see the book. The search function works too. And if you go back and if you click on the office supplies, you'll be able to see the office supplies that's been present in the Magnet Bookstore. And if you click it, you're gonna see it over here and if you press it it's gonna go to a card and if you go to a card you'll be able to see it in card and if you want to check out you can check out with this by pressing the checkout you're gonna go to a checkout layout let's delete it and let's go back this is the simple project I have used for the Magnus bookstore either you want to see the book or you want to see the office supplies you can see it from here it's in the list view and you can even search it say if you be it can come over here if I type this something like LG I don't have it it won't over there and for this process project I have used a Firebase database I'm going to show you how I use the database this is the bookstore Authentication. These are all the authentication I've been using, and for the storage, you see all those images, right? The book image, the image, the advanced Android book images, programming book images, all the images. You should put it in the storage, and once you put it in the storage, you will be able to get a file location and the storage location. If you get it to a clipboard, you will be put able to put it in a database in a database I have put it into a two major section one should be for the books and other one is the office supplies you see that and once you log in and put it in the book like the author name origin this is the ISPN number this is the link I have given and since I have a small error over here in my constructor I have to put like a uh, and the image size I have to put ISPN and ISPN I have to put image that time but we can fix it from the constructor in the Android database or can we fix it from we can fix it from here because I get a sm I was able to make a mistake I did a mistake over here so we can fix it over here All activities the book activity, card activity, category activity, checkout activity, login, and main. And since you use the Firebase, which is the easiest database, you'll be able to do this project easily. And don't forget about this like, you have to put everything the image, everything over here in a storage. And from the storage, you'll be able to get a file location. And 
this is my simple project and once everything is done we can log out from the uh, the bookstore and it goes to email sex uh, login sex and you can log in back to it this is a simple project so and i'll put all the code and everything in a github so if you like to check the code and everything you can grab it from the github and i'll put the link in the description down below thank you